Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about a new stock, Sweet Green. And is it the next Chipotle? Well, I've got one stat that you definitely wanna look at before you invest. Okay guys, so when we're comparing Sweet Green to Chipotle, let's first look at Chipotle. Chipotle IPO'd in 2006. That's when they did their initial public offering. This is crazy, guys. $10,000 investment in 2006. You know how much it's worth today? If you would have been in, put in 10,000 bucks, 2006, over $600,000 today. Half a million. That's absolutely insane. 4,000% growth in operating profit since going public. And people are looking for the next Chipotle. And a lot of people see Sweet Green as a contender due to its promising potential and similarities with Chipotle. But is it true? Is it going to become the next Chipotle? I got an opinion. All right, Sweet Green. Let's look at where they're at. Current position, they've got 230 locations across the United States. They're generating approximately $650 million in revenue, and that's that was over the last 12 months. Their average unit volume is $2.9 million per location. But there's a problem. Sweet Green is unprofitable. They've had an operating loss of $16 million just in Q2 2024 alone. When we look over at Chipotle, Chipotle had been profitable all the way since 2004, before its IPO. In 2004, Chipotle had $471 million in revenue, $6 million operating profit. By 2005, the next year, revenue rose to $628 million the operating profit quintupled to 31 million. Here's the key difference, guys, between between both companies, between Chipotle and Sweet Green. It's Sweet Green, and this is why. Well, no, no, I've got more to say on that. But this is a big stat, guys. Before you jump in, here's the big one, and that is general and administrative GNA expenses. Sweet Green's GNA expenses are double what Chipotle's were at a similar size. Double, their g and expenses double what Chipotle was. Sweet Green's potential and profitability, because that, there is some potential here, guys. First of all, there are some growth indicators. Sweet Green raised prices with no adverse effect on customer demand. They increased the prices, customers still came. Q2 same store sales increased by 9% year over year with a 4% rise in traffic. And the restaurants themselves are profitable. Sweet Green's Q2 restaurant level profit margin stands at 22%. Sweet Green's margins are competitive. The company is profitable at the restaurant level despite overall corporate unprofitability. And here's the really big thing if you're absolutely just if you're going to invest in sweet green this is the one i mean this is a major this is huge automation is a big profit booster or could be a big profit booster for sweet green and that is the infinite kitchen project robotic automation is being tested in sweet green restaurants first location with infinite kitchen technology boasts a 31 percent restaurant level margin in Q2, outperforming traditional locations. Management plans to continue to expand this technology for broader implementation. And their G&A expenses, even though they're double where Chipotle's was, they are improving. While high G&A expenses are currently hindering overall profitability, they've been decreasing as the company grows. There is a potential for profitability as G&A expenses continue to decrease, sales volume continues to increase, and automation improves margins. But there's limitations, guys, and that's what I want to talk about here at the end of this video. When you compare the scalability of Chipotle and Sweetgreen, Chipotle scale, for example, they have 3,500 locations right now. Their plan is to grow to over 7,000 locations, double the amount they have. But Sweetgreen has a limitation on its growth. Management envisions reaching a thousand locations by 2030. But they've also expressed doubt about scaling much beyond that. 
because they're uncertain whether demand for a high volume salad chain can match the broader consumer appeal of Chipotle's burritos. When it comes down to it, burritos are delicious. Salads, not as much appeal for. And that's what it comes down to, guys, is everyone loves a burrito. Everyone doesn't necessarily love a salad. And I think that's the big, I, when you look at across the entire field, I think that's the big difference, guys, between the two companies and why Sweet Green may never become Chipotle. Why? Because it's a salad. <laughs> when, they, when you break it all down, they could do everything right and they could still not rise to the level of expectations that investors are holding them to because they offer salads. It's their product. So in conclusion, guys, Sweet Green does show promise, particularly with improving margins, growth in sales, automation advancements. However, due to limits on scalability, potentially lower consumer demand for a salad chain, Sweet Green's opportunity might not be as big as Chipotle's was at its early stages. So, final thought, while Sweetgreen may present a solid investment opportunity, it's unlikely to match Chipotle's massive returns from its IPO. So investors, manage your expectations accordingly. And it might not be a bad company to invest in, just know it probably, my opinion, probably not going to be the next Chipotle. And guys, I'm not invested in Sweet Green. If you do want to know what I'm invested in, subscribe to the channel because every week I post a video on a stock I really do buy and tell you all about why I bought that stock. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and you want more videos like this. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about Chipotle and Sweet Green. And I will see you again tomorrow with another video. Take it easy. Peace.